Southwest Portland is one of the most diverse quadrants of the whole city of Portland. It's diverse here because it almost feels like a suburb of Portland, but in a good way. Make sure you stick around because I'm gonna be jumping around to a bunch of different spots. And at the end of the video, I'll share one of the most unique neighborhoods in the whole city to live in. There's Portland State University towards the inner part. And then there's charming neighborhoods that everyone loves with a mix of walkability and quiet residential streets, as well as super high end neighborhoods. And of course it is home to one of the most awesome parks in all of Portland, which is Washington Park, which is where I am now. Right now we're walking through the Hoyt Arboretum, which is just a small section in Washington Park, which is over 400 acres of natural beauty right here in the middle of the city. Aside from the Hoyt Arboretum within Washington Park, you will also find the Oregon Zoo, the International Rose Test Garden, the world-renowned Portland Japanese Garden, and several miles worth of trails, including one that connects all the way through Forest Park called the Wildwood Trail. It's a pretty incredible place to come visit if you want to be in nature but don't want to drive out of the city. And it's one of the obvious benefits of living in this southwest section of Portland. It's being really close to this park. You may think that this is the main big park in Portland, but this is just one of over 200 parks in the entire city, believe it or not. There's a few other incredible parks in the southwest and I'll get to some of them in a bit later in the video. Now, if you are the type of person who just loves this type of nature and just wants to live amongst it, there are many neighborhoods here in what we refer to as the Southwest Hills. Neighborhoods like Sylvan Highlands or Portland Heights or Healy Heights and Arlington Heights, which is where I am now, are all very high-end and luxurious neighborhoods to live in. There's some pros and cons, of course. The pros are that you get some of the most beautiful homes in the Portland metro area. Some of them have great views. It's amongst all the nature and it's just got a sense of peace and quiet from the rest of the hustle and bustle of the city. Some of the cons are that they are some of the most expensive homes in Portland and that it lacks walkability. The median home price of what you will find in these hills tend to be right around the 1 million mark, give or take, sometimes exceeding well above that range though. But obviously this is an absolutely beautiful place to live with many highly desirable traits. Now before we head over to the super busy area next, I wanted to let you know that if you're thinking thinking of making a move here to the Portland area and you see yourself buying a home, I'm absolutely here to help with that. You'll find all my contact information below this video, so don't feel shy about giving me a call, text, email, DM me on Instagram, or ideally, you'll just book a video call so that we can just cut to the chase and have a conversation about your move here to the Portland area. You'll love it. But now I just drove about 10 minutes down the hill to get to this area, which is the neighborhood of Goose Hollow. And it's right on the border of Northwest and Southwest. And don't worry, there aren't geese wandering around here anymore, but if you were here in the mid 1900s, you might need to watch your step for uh, some goose poop. And this neighborhood is a very nice blend of historic and new, and has an absurdly high walk score, tons of great eats, shops, and even multiple grocery stores you can walk to. This gem of a neighborhood is kind of tucked away from the rest of downtown, but is still close enough to the center of the city for tons of walkability to make living here a great option. Also, if you are a fan of sports, it is home to Portland's professional soccer team stadium, Providence Park. The Portland Timbers and the Portland Thorns play there, and so that's definitely one thing that's worth taking into consideration because on game days, sometimes it can draw large crowds to the area and can subsequently make parking kind of tricky. You're also a quick drive to walk Washington Park, which I mentioned earlier, and Forest Park too. So right here, you've just got a really great, quiet neighborhood that's close enough to everything else that you could even get to the suburbs in about 15 minutes or so. Where I am currently is PSU or Portland State University. Some of the most commonly studied majors here at PSU are business, management, marketing, social science, sciences, various health professions, and others. The campus here is really centrally located in the Portland Metro, so it's easy to take public transit virtually anywhere else in the entire city. Also, it's super walkable here, and there's lots of great eating options, as well as several shopping malls and many cool stores in the downtown 
downtown Portland area. This right here is also the exact location of the Portland Farmer's Market, which occurs year round every single Saturday during the warmer months. It spans about three, I don't know, four blocks on both sides. Also in the downtown Portland area, you will find Pioneer Square, which during the day is home to a handful of delicious food carts to check out. But during the summer at night, they hold a concert series that hosts many high profile touring bands throughout the course of the summer. It's pretty awesome. You will also want to check out Tom McCall Waterfront Park on the far east side of the southwest quadrant. This park gives you an incredible panoramic view of the city to the east with the stunning Willamette River and several bridges to gaze at too. This park hosts a number of events throughout the year, including the Waterfront Blues Festival, which I always look forward to, as well as the Portland Rose Festival and many, many other cool events. So while we're on the topic of Riverfront, it would be good to visit South Waterfront, which is a great place to live if you're wanting to become a doctor or a nurse or anything really in the medical field because it is home to OHSU, which is one of the most reputable medical research universities in the country. OHSU is one of the largest employers in the state. And also this is just a beautiful place to live if you enjoy a modern urban atmosphere that's really close to the center of the city and also right on the riverfront. It's fairly walkable, but right now there's kind of a lot of business vacancies, but I'm hoping that will start to turn around soon. There aren't any houses in South Waterfront, but there are many detached single family homes on the other side of the five freeway that way. But here there's pretty much just high end condo living and apartments. It's really a nice place to go for a walk along the riverfront. A really cool thing you can do in South Waterfront is catch the aerial tram. I don't know if you can see it back there, but it takes people between the OHSU campus and the main hospital up on the hill, but anybody can ride it. And especially on a nice, beautiful, clear day, you can see the whole city and the river and, and you can even see clear over to Mount Hood on a clear day. Now, if you you want almost a suburban lifestyle, but you still want to have the feeling of living in Portland proper with a bit of walkability and a bit of peace and quiet, then you're gonna wanna stick around for this next segment of the video. There are a few areas as we move to the west that are both quiet and walkable. This neighborhood of Hillsdale is certainly one of them, and a lot of residents move here because of its quiet suburban feel while still having a central focused and walkable layout of the neighborhood. Hillsdale is a popular Southwest neighborhood because of its walkability. You can walk to grocery stores, restaurants, coffee shops, and even the library. Like many other homes in the Portland area, you can find a wide variety of architecture in the residential homes, from ranch style to mid-century homes to contemporary design to those classic craftsman bungalows you'll see all over Portland. The location is pretty great because you can get into Beaverton, downtown Portland, South Waterfront, and even into parts of Southeast Portland like Selwood in just a matter of minutes. Of course, the farther you go to the Southwest, the longer it takes to get to the airport, so that is a slight disadvantage. The median home price here in Hillsdale is pretty aligned with the rest of Portland, sitting at 540K. And the other thing you should know about Hillsdale is that there are some steeper hills. I mean, it's called Hillsdale for a reason. Also, there's some great parks, including Hillsdale City Park, 35 acre George Himes City Park, and it is bordered to the north by Markham Nature Park, which is the third largest park in all of Portland. Then you have the neighborhood of Multnomah Village, another super cozy Portland neighborhood with some gentle hills throughout, amazing parks, and also an absolutely amazing downtown area, giving it a similar feel to the suburbs, but still maintaining the Portland charm as well. Some great spots to try here include the Fat City Cafe, which is a great diner. They have a Verde Cocina, they have a Grand Central Bakery, and over a dozen other places to to eat and drink. There's even a super awesome food cart pod called the French Quarter, which has a plethora of great options as well. There's even more places to shop here. So whether you're looking for vintage clothing, some toys for the kiddos or antiques, that makes this a super fun place to walk around for the day to get some fun and some food in. Also, if you're looking for beer, there's really no better place to look than John's Marketplace, which has a massive and I mean enormous selection of beer. Now, Multnomah Village 
cottage living can be as quiet as you want because some of the residential streets are so peaceful and tucked away and yet you can be amongst the hustle and bustle in a matter of minutes whether that's in the downtown area of Multnomah Village or downtown Portland in under 10 minutes too. There's a great park entirely within Multnomah Village called Gabriel Park that has some amazing off-leash dog park areas, walking trails, and all types of fields for sports. Great place to get some fresh air. The median home price here in Multnomah Village is right around 630k and it's definitely an area that you should consider if you want to have sort of a suburban feel in a part of the city that doesn't really feel like a grid like it does in downtown or the east side. Got a very nice downtown area and can feel like a walkable neighborhood if you are close to that part of it. But if you get farther into the residential areas, it may be a bit longer of a walk with some uphill and some downhill to get to the downtown hub area with all the bars and the shops and the restaurants. Now, if you like this video and are looking to learn about more walkable neighborhoods all across Portland, I'd recommend checking out this video right here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you over there.